Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here for a while, if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to tell you guys about some products that I want to try and there's quite a few of them. So the first one is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer and this is just like a clear silicone looking primer. I have not used this. Well, I might have once, but I don't remember using it. And then I have the Ulta Beauty Gold Illuminator and Matte Bronzer. That doesn't make sense. The matte bronzer should be on this. Okay. So like the Gold Illuminator is like on the opposite side of the thing. I don't get it. But I think if I had to, I would use these for eyeshadows. These are really super soft. And the bronzer is not necessarily like the best bronzer. But that gold is really, really shiny. And I don't normally like super shiny highlights like that so I'm gonna wipe these off as I go that way I don't have like a handful of swatches um this Chastique eyebrow thing mini eyebrow pencil in the shade Americano there's like no color coming off on this Okay, so I got a little color off right there. I feel like I would hope that it would work better in my brows. I'm just gonna lick my finger and try to <laughs> wipe that off a little bit. That made my skin really red. Okay, the next thing that I wanna try is the Ciate Linden Dewy Sticks. This is in the shade, um, glow so I'm gonna put it right here it's just like it creates a real oh gosh shoot uh, it creates like a dewy dewy effect on your skin so I feel like this is something that I would put like under my foundation if I ever at any point want to look dewy which I never do because I have such greasy, oily skin, I like to look matte. Um, the next thing I want to try is this Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. I learned about this. I was trying to figure out how to get the cap off. You twist it and the product comes out of that hole at the top. Which is really cool. So I'm excited to try that. Then the... Wet n Wild Cover All Foundation. This is a foundation that if you watched one of my last videos, my friend Taylor, she's dating my brother. This is one of those foundations that's like really good. Anyway, uh, she and I got different shades. She's one shade up from me because she has really red skin. I do too, but you can't really tell. Um, this I actually have tried. I have a smaller version of it. This is the Dr. Jart Seeker Repair Derma Green Solution Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. It smells really good. And it's just green because green counteracts the red. I have an Amore Pacific Resort Collection Sun Protection Mist Bad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. This... Huh, the sunscreen that I'll probably put in my uh, my bag, like my school bag or something if I don't do my makeup in the morning. This way I can at least have some protection. And this is, this has the cruelty free sign on it. This is by Super Goop Super Power Sunscreen Mousse Broad Spectrum SPF 50, water resistant 80 minutes. I don't know how to swim. I don't swim, I don't go in the water, I don't go near the water, I stay inside and I read <laughs> what I film. But I am excited to get to try this. 
And then, now that we're done with that, we're going to finish with all the makeup. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Powder Glow Illuminator Blush and Highlight. This one is in the shade Ice. I do have another one that is in the shade Golden. So this one's for people with cool undertones and golden is for people with warm undertones. I haven't opened golden yet, but I, I have opened ice. So what I like to do is swirl around all the colors so it creates like one color and it kind of gives it like a pearly, a pearlescent glow. I really like that. So there's that. And then I have this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfect. The font is like, it's like really tiny. The font is like, I'm, I don't have anything over here to compare it to. It's like the size of each of these little lines on my headphones. This is a Shimming Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. And this is what it looks like. When I first read Opal, I kind of expected it to be like a, uh, a white shade, but Opal is gorgeous. It's right there. You can't really see. I'm trying to help you guys see it, but like, it's not working out too well. And then a couple more before I get into some liners. This is a Too Faced Candlelight Glow Illuminating Powder Duo in the shade Rosy Glow. And it looks like this. I'm not going to swatch this one because, believe it or not, I actually don't really like Too Faced products. So I think I might actually get rid of this one. Because I have a drawer just full of products I don't want. And then I have this Jasmine LaBelle Cosmetics. This is an eyeshadow in the shade 05. Um, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst that I've ever used. And now for some shadow, no not shadows, liners. This is a Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner in the shade Alloy. It's definitely, it's like a silvery gray, it is beautiful. Then I have a blue one by City Color. This is in the shade doesn't have a shade but it's blue blue and then I have a LA colors graphics eyeliner this is I'm assuming black oh it's a liquid liner, but instead of having a brush tip, it has a felt tip, and it's got this weird little, like, thing on it here. Let me give you guys a swatch of it. So you can do it thick, or you can do it thin. So that's really nice. And then I have this Ulta Beauty one, which I haven't opened yet. And to be honest with you, I don't think I will. But I it, it's just basically black and copper. And I am actually not going to open this. I'm going to put this in with my unwanted products and give it to someone who will definitely use it. Because knowing me, I have so many products. I have all of these. And all of these to use up and there are definitely some liners in here before I even want to think about opening that one so I'm going to give it to someone who can use it and that way 
it's getting used. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!